In this video, I'm gonna be taking a look at the Sparmax Silver Bullet. This also has a Mac valve on it. Let's take a closer look and do some tests right now. Okay, so we can see the packaging, looks pretty good. Talks about the Mac valve, two times filtering effect. You can see we've got the Mac valve on the side here, the filter and a drainage valve, which is just down the bottom. Let's read what it's got on the back. An elegant solution to a difficult problem. The Silver Bullet Mac is airbrush's most effective solution to wet, dirty air. The air compressor that powers your airbrush condenses the air's natural humidity into water. The Silver Bullet Mac removes this water before it reaches your airbrush. Dry, clean, air guaranteed. Effective, full-size, five micron filter, easy to use. With a built-in Mac micro air control valve allowing activation of pressure on off switch on compressor models with this feature. Spring loaded drain valve enables quick release of filtered water. Ergonomic, lightweight, comfortable grip, compatible with all Sparmax airbrushes and other leading brands with the 1 8 fitting, which is a pretty stock standard fitting across the board. Durable, maximum pressure, 80 PSI. Adapters, which are sold separately, enable compatibility with other fitting sizes. And it just gives you a quick diagram of how to fit it, which I'm gonna go through anyway and replace the filter when its color becomes noticeably darker. On average, the filter will only need to be replaced once every two to three years. That's pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and open it up. So the quality feels pretty good, reasonably heavy, so that'll be interesting when hooking it up to the airbrush. But I know a lot of people like to hold on to something like this for extra stability, so it might be a good one for beginners. Okay, so let's go ahead and hook it up. So I've got a regular 1 8 fitting, which will screw straight onto here. I don't think you're gonna need any Teflon tape. It also says that you can hook this up using Quick Connect, so I'll be interested to try that. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Eclipse airbrush. I'm gonna use that for the demonstration and screw that on the top. Carefully wind that in. And this will be interesting because the Eclipse doesn't have a Mac valve, so having this feature handy on the Eclipse could be a great thing. It's gonna go ahead and pop some paint in the airbrush. I've got some pre-mixed Trident here. This is at my 30-70 mix, so 30% paint, 70% reducer. And my compressor's set at 30 PSI. So I'm just gonna run it at that first. So this is working beautifully. I do like my paint quite a bit thinner find it just allows for nicer control. However, it does take longer to get the feel for it. You're more likely to spider out like that, or go too heavy, because it is a lot thinner. Okay, so that Mac valve's totally wound out, which means that I'm getting the full PSI coming through at 30 PSI. Now, if I wind that in, you'll hear the PSI start to drop. Now I'm not adjusting it on the compressor. So the compressor is still putting out the same amount of PSI. I'm just adjusting it here on that silver bullet. So what this means is that it allows you to get finer detail with thinner paint. So if I'm just pulling back a little bit, so I had a bit of tip drying, but cleared that out. You can see with that Mac valve, is quite warm here today, so that does affect it as well. So I could probably get away with thinning my paint even more, but you'll notice that there's no issue there getting a nice fine line. So I think that that Mac valve definitely helps. And then to release any contaminants, you've obviously got this drainage valve. You just push that little pin in and that's gonna drain anything that's captured within here. So I'm gonna try my quick connect on the top here and see if I can hook up this airbrush and then that way you can switch between airbrushes, which is nice and handy and keep this for all your airbrushes with just one air hose. So I've just unplugged my hose from the compressor. That way I can safely unscrew the airbrush. And then we'll screw this on first. Should be able to screw pretty much everything on and off just by using your hand instead of grabbing tools. That way you won't risk over tightening anything. And I'll attach the male part of the quick connect. 
I'll hook it back up to my compressor. So that's a good sign. I don't hear any air leaking and click this back on and we're good to go. I'm just going to turn the PSI up a bit. And no issue there at all. It's flowing extremely well. Doesn't feel any different with that quick connect. So that's great news. You'll be able to switch all your airbrushes and get the benefits out of the silver bullet on all brushes that don't have a Mac valve. It'll be extremely handy. What I want to do now is just pull this apart and have a look at the filter system in there. Okay, so we can see the filter in there. I'm just going to unscrew this. That's going to let me get into that section. Obviously it's nice and clean. And then all you need to do is unscrew this. And that's going to let you swap out your filters. Put it back together. So a very cool little tool. I'll test it out for a longer period of time and um, I'll see how that filter holds up. So if you want to fast track your learning, you can definitely check out our online airbrushing course at airbrushasylum.thinkific.com or you can continue to watch some of the other videos that I've got listed here. And until next time, go grab your airbrush, do some amazing artwork yourself and I'll see you again very, very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.